one of the biggest wind farms in southern Africa. And for power producer Eskom, a major break with tradition. Sia Wind Farm is the country's first commercial renewable energy project. It won't be the last. By 2030, South Africa wants to draw more than 40% of its power from renewable sources such as the wind and the sun. ESCOM's coal-fired stations have been struggling to meet demand, and lobbyists say green power could help stabilize supply in South Africa. It takes a long time to build coal-fired power plants and nuclear plants. At the moment, the most uh, important fast-track solution is actually renewables, uh, whether people like it or not, because what we want is more electrons into the grid. The investment is around $240 million, funded with cheap loans from the likes of the World Bank and the African Development Bank. The company is also building a solar-powered plant further north. ESCOM's renewable support program is likely to have long-term cost-saving benefits through the structure of its soft loan. Now, those in support of a move to a greener future have lauded that, but the power utility's obligations to sustain grid power in South Africa is likely to bring many challenges. ESCOM still sees its future on coal. It's investing billions of dollars in new coal-fired plants. See, a wind farm will have the capacity of 100 megawatts. That's around a quarter of a percent of ESCOM's total generating capacity. Consumers say South Africa needs to explore all the alternatives to keep the lights on. I think that we should look at every opportunity that we can take and lay our hands on as far as renewable energy. I do believe that we haven't fully investigated the opportunities. See a wind farm will be a test case then. It's due to plug into the grid late next year. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.